Good morning. Welcome to another makeup moment. I'm LV Look. And while you are hopping on, I'll quickly pin all my goodies links in the comments. It's an overcast day here again. There we go. And I'll start with my eye cream. Good morning. <laughs> and is it, oh, I forgot his name. I can't believe it. My brain sometimes is like a sieve. <laughs> Look at this wild hair. Um, Jerry, you know the nighttime show? And he goes, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Some, one of the uh, characters off of the Muppet show. So I already put on my eye cream in the bathroom this morning after I showered and I did my serums and my moisturizer. Good morning, Susan. Hello, gorgeous. And so I put my eye cream on in the washroom this morning already. So I'm just going right in with the primer. Now today's look, I, I think it's going to be, well, I have a couple favorite looks and this is one of them. It's a soft, neutral, very romantic, but it can be worn every day anywhere. Going out, um, no sound, Marlene. Um, Susan, do you have that issue with no sound? Or are you able to hear me? I'm wondering, Marlene, if you went back out and came back in. See. Good morning, Kat. So can you hear me, Kat? Is, is the sound okay? I just want to make sure it's not. Let me check on my phone. Let's hope Facebook isn't giving me grief today. Hello, hello, I'm not saying. Yes, you can hear me. Oh, good, okay, thank you. Okay, Marlene, try going out and back in again. Okay, I'll shut this off so I don't get sound here. Sorry about that, everybody. We wanna make sure it's working. <laughs> it would be horrible to do the whole thing and then, and then there was no sound. Good, I'm so glad we can hear me. And Kat, welcome, this is so cool. Is it evening for you? So I just applied my eye cream. Now I'll do my face, my mat, or my, sorry, my eye primer. And I, and it's, it, it um, not only does it make a little bit of a tacky surface, like primer on your walls, so that your, your eyeshadow will get, grab and stay all day. It also keeps the colors truer. 5 a.m., oh my goodness. Is it really? You're up early, girl. You are up early. Hello, Carolyn. Welcome. So now I'm just doing my mattifying face primer, which is my favorite. If you have dry skin, we have a gorgeous um, hydrating primer. And then their, their original primer is the Glorious Primer, which is, they're also good. No, Marlene. Try touching. Sometimes I have to touch it a few times when I'm watching someone else's to get it. You can't lip read. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, hmm. That's terrible. Now, why would she not have sound? Any techie people out there? I'm trying to solve it. Oh. So I want to make sure that... Now I'm going to talk louder. <laughs> I want to make sure, just a sec. Of course, my nose starts to drip. All right, um, that the cons I get the concentration or the con area where you get uh, your oh good yay I'm so glad good girl you did it I'm gonna just put teeny bit more under my eyes I want to make sure that I try to get as smooth of a surface as I can under my eye area. Everything is improving. Not, It's not 100% yet, but it's improving with my eyes. I'm just so, so thrilled. <laughs> it's taken a long time. Okay, sorry, I have to. I don't know what's going on. As soon as I go live, maybe it's nerves, related to nerves. Okay, are you ready? This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I think this is my favorite palette, although I do love palette six, and I do love... The, the look that I did, I got a lot of raves about it in palette eight, which by the way is a limited edition. It's not part of our core line. 
So when supplies run out, it's gone. And that right now is a part of the beauty box, which is only $119 and you get something, two or three or four products from every part of our core, of our core line, our product line. So you get some skincare, you get the mascaras, lash primer, you get face products, you get lip, couple lip products, all for $119. So it is an excellent, excellent place to start if you're wanting to um, change over your makeup or get into makeup or renew your makeup if it's old. I highly recommend this. It's I love it. So this is my look today. I hit my little labels. <laughs> I actually think I, 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 I Probably now by this time I know I am identifying certain colors. I love this palette. So this is all like a satin matte look today. No, sh um, no shimmers, no shine. So it's very, very um, neutral. It's very pleasing. And it is something you can wear every day with whether you're putting on something dressy, going out, or jeans or yoga pants, lounging around, whatever. So I absolutely adore this look. So we're gonna start with the transition color, which is the most perfect transition color. It's called Astute. And it is this um, really soft, dopey brown. That's why it's so perfect. So I'm gonna start with the blending brush which is a beautiful big fluffy brush and it's going to make it very very soft a soft soft background and you'll notice I'm starting with my eyes because when you do get a little bit of fallout and mess it'll get cleaned up when you do your foundation whereas if I already did my foundation which it's a hard rule you know that was my old way and I always had to clean it up afterwards so this way you don't have to yeah it's all cleaned up hello Catherine Yes, a studious it is. Isn't it beautiful? It's like, I'm so glad it's back in stock. And I, and you will love this palette. And I, did, I included it in today in the box in today's look, as well as some other goodies, which I'll tell you about later. So just go in with a little bit. And starting on your outer corner. And then we're just going to softly, little circles, push it in and blend it. I knew I had some things to tell. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Hi, Ethel. Welcome. There was something I was gonna tell you girls and I totally forgot. I'm just having a, hello, gorgeous. I'm having a total blonde moment. And my hair is a whole new learning curve. I'm, I've been straightening it for so long that when I blow dry it, it gets a little frizzy. And then I, so I curled a little bit on the top layers and I burnt my, my forehead. So that's new for me. So, oh shoot. So it's like, ah, now I'll do some on the other side. It's just been one of those mornings already. And then I've got the furnace guy coming today which is thinking that that's gonna be interesting with COVID. It's been acting up. We don't want it to die. We're supposed to get Jan, um, winter on like January 20th or 27th or 29th. We still don't have no, we have no snow except for just a little bit in the hills and the trees. Do you see how pretty this, this color is though, astute? It's just the soft neutral. And I'm just gonna, Blend out the edges. Okay. Let's see if I got it even. All right, now I'm going in with, I'm um, going to grab a liner shader brush. I should have set my brushes out. Oh, there we go. Which is the liner shader brush, which I like this flat end. And the other one that's similar is the um, deluxe brush. Hello, welcome, hello gorgeous. Hi Annie, welcome to see you. So now I'm going to go in with the lid color called Timid. And it is a very, very, very soft peach. Like I say, this is all, and there, these are just mattes and um, satins, satin finishes, no, no, no shimmer. So I'm going in with Timid 
and you're just going to pat it on the lid and I'm just going to pull because I still have a little bit of stretch skin from the puffing and the swelling it folds over which is a whole new problem for me which is pretty sad now I'm going to take my blending brush and just blend the edges now I I'm wanting to make this as easy it is for you because I want you to be able to, I'm not a makeup artist, I just learned from unique tutorials, like um, other women who are unique presenters. And that's the whole point why I love it so much is that they made these beautiful eye looks, simple and doable that I could do. And, and I'm hoping that you can do the same. I know you can, you can just, you can get these colors and just follow what I do and you'll get the same results and you'll be so pleased. So again, I'm going in with a little bit more timid on my brush and just going to tap it on. And the reason why you want to tap it on is it's really pigmented. So you, if you put, tap it, it stays. You, otherwise you swipe it and you kind of, it flakes all over and you have more of a mess. And I hate the fact that I have to lift up this fold. Let's hope it, um, let's hope it shrinks. Okay, and now I'm going back in with the blending brush and just blending out that edge. Okay, simple, done. Now we're going to add our depth, our dimension. You know how a picture, you can hang a picture, it looks lovely on the wall, but sometimes it just, when you add a frame, or even if you're painting, you'll always find that you need to add some dark, and it just adds shadow, it adds dimension, it adds um, depth, and that's what a darker color does. So this darker color is called Earthly, and you see it's not very dark. It's a pecan, a pecan brown, it's really pretty. And we're going to, going in with the crease brush, which is the short one, and let me just clean it, make sure. Let's see if I've got the cleanest one. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. All right, so just tap it a little bit. And on the outer corner, we're gonna make that V. And then we're gonna fill it in. See her right away. You can do it as deep or as light as you want. I find with the camera, it gets more washed out. So I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit. There we go. Now the other side. I don't have as much fallout with these shadows because they are you get more fallout with the shimmers easy is good especially for me ah yeah it is easy you can do it i know you can hello tracy welcome hello gorgeous today is a very very soft easy romantic and even for people who don't like to wear makeup it's this gives this is like a a, a very soft makeup look that that would be pleasing for those that are afraid of color or branching into anything too obvious this won't be so obvious especially when you get everything else on it's kind of like makeup is kind of like you know if you ever had a house built we did when we lived in Yellowknife well we built our house in Hay River too but the house, we lived in it while we built it, but the one in Yellowknife, we built. And you know, back then, I didn't really know my taste then. Um, we were still into Dusty Roses, things like that. Um, now, while I'm talking, or while I'm working, I'm gonna grab, I'll just grab the deluxe brush. And now I'm gonna go in with this, the lightest color called Laid Back. It's a very, very, very soft champagne -y color. And I'm going to use it as just to lighten the by the eye here and a little bit under the brow. Right under 
right on that brow bone. So we built this house and you know, it was it was on bed bedrock, the rock there, it was solid. And we put in, you know, granite countertop. We had gorgeous appliances, gorgeous hardwood floors, tiles. And now if we just moved in like that, it have it have no personality and so makeup is like that you know your furniture your artwork on the walls your cushions your throws your vases bringing in fresh flowers it's like accessorizing it's making um like a, those things make the house look like a woman lives there not a bachelor <laughs> that's makeup does that too it just enhances what we already have we are already beautiful we're just going to make it a little more beautiful so that, I mean, how easy was that, girls? Can't you do that? So I'll just see, make sure, yeah, it's, it's easy, it's done. Now let's do some eyeliner. So I am going, oh, so just a reminder again. So the colors, they're in the link that I gave you, but they are started with our transition color, which is astute. And then we used this um, soft satin called Timid which is a very, very, very soft, creamy peach, a little like peachy cream, I would say. On our eyelid, on the outer corner, we framed it with earthly and then laid back with just a little bit on the brow bone and a little bit in the inner eye to just sort of wake up our eye. Nice palette, my favorite, my favorite. It's an everyday palette. Now let's do a little bit of eyeliner. And I thought I set it out, but I guess I didn't. Now you could do proper, which is a chocolate brown pencil liner, or black, which is called perfect. Now, where's my perfect? Oh, I set it up. Yeah, I did set it up. I was trying to decide. I think perfect will give you a little bit more drama. Chocolate brown will be just, again, a softer, neutral look. I think I'm going to go for the perfect. I like a little drama. <laughs> but if you don't want drama, go for proper. It would look just as gorgeous. So chocolate brown. All right, make sure that this is sharpened. Where's my sharpener? It's reorganizing again. How do you organize your makeup, girls? Do you have a table? Do you have a cabinet? Do you have jars? I know I love, love, love my table here, but I wish I had drawers because I wouldn't mind having some things out of sight. I'm more of like an out of sight girl, but that's not possible with me in this little tiny place. Okay, so pencil liners are very soft. Um, a, a liquid eyeliner will give you that crisper look. So this is, we're kind of going in soft, but then I'm just gonna use the black. I'm gonna bring this closer to me. And I have to, I don't, you're not supposed to stretch your eye. And I'm not stretching it, but because of the extra loose skin, I have to smooth it a little bit. So starting in the inner, going a fine line right close to your eyelash line. And if you keep your eyes open, it's nicer. You have more control. There's something going on in this building. I don't know whether it's workers or whether the guy above me is doing some renovations so if you hear thumping and banging that's something is going on now I'm going to grab you can just sort of smoke that out with that again the liner shader brush or any kind of a liner um, you can even use the other, the back end of your brow brush if you wanted to. I'm just going to soften that edge. Smoking it out.
Now, can you see the difference between the two? It does make your eyelashes look thicker. Except I did get it. I don't care for that. Right in the inner corner. Just going to, there we go. Got a little thick right in the inner side. Which the mascara when I get in will fix, fix that. So now the other side. You can do a waterline. Actually, a waterline would be really nice. Um, but because I still have putting lots of drops in my eyes, I figure there's no point. And what that'll do is that will not take away from your lid. Your lid will look bigger, and then you'll have the definition because you're going to be tight, tight lining or doing your eyeliner on your waterline. Hello. I add, welcome, hello gorgeous. And then I go a little bit wider, the outer side. And then a little bit of a wing. Okay, let's smoke it out. Some days are easier than others. And I should bring some um, Q-tips here. I think I blinked. There we go. These things happen. Now, Grab, where is that one I used? Oh, right here. Okay. First eyeliner can actually use without poking myself in the eye. Oh, that'd be horrible. Or feel like I'm dragging. These are buttery soft, aren't they? They are so good. And especially if you have a little bit of firmer skin, it's like, I never, well, let's not go into that aging bit. <laughs> it's awful though, really, really awful. Um, now we can do our face. I've already got my, my face primer on, so I thought oh, I meant to pre-shake it. I am going to use spray foundation today. I haven't used that in a long time. So you need to shake it, mix it up. It's like a spray can of spray paint. <laughs> And you need the kabuki brush. And I want to make sure I shake it good because it's been sitting a while. And let me, while I'm shaking it, let me tell you about our um, sale specials this month. So if you spend $90, you get a free mascara. If you spend $150, you get the free twisted mascara plus our reverent eyeshadow which is everybody's it's the fan favorite and then you get for 210 you get I didn't set it out I'll grab it oh right here it's one of these I've got a ton of them here I think I've got everything it's called snarky splash liquid lipstick okay if I just grab one you won't hold it against me okay it's not this one but you get one of these. <laughs> um, I don't know why. I'm just not seeing it. I took my label off of it, too, so that's probably why. It makes it harder. The writing is so tiny in the bottom, and it's like, who wants to squint? All right. So with the Kabuki brush, we're just going to do a couple sprays. I'll do one more. And now we're going to just... Dot it. Wow, I'm getting quite a red mark from my burn. And you can um, stipple, stipple blend. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer today.
going on beautifully. And it's really good coverage. And you can go back and build it up. I have seen women with very bad rosacea, and this covers it. And they were just like crying because they just could not believe that they could. You know, feel normal, like not be up so obvious when they go out and have people staring at them. It's a beautiful foundation. and drag it down your neck. Love the convenience of it. So we'll see this red mark go away. If you have tattoos, it'll cover that. Because it's buildable, you can go back over it. Don't think my, I think some, something was damp there. See that red spot? I think it's gone, right? If I wanted to, I could just do one more, just to make sure. Put this tiplet on. And then what I like to do, because I have mature skin, is to take a blending bud and just, it's gotta be wet, wring it out, wet it and wring it out. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Your hubby. They have messages that you mean, yeah. Well, it's cute. Let's hope he doesn't wear makeup, does he? Does he? <laughs> and you know, I just find that doing this with mature skin, it's just gives it, it's like pressing it into the, all of those little tiny pores and it's just giving me a more airbrush look. There we go. Just makes a difference. Now let's go into contouring. I don't, again, I'm using pressed, our pressed powder foundations for um, contouring or for bronzing. I can hardly wait till the bronzer comes back. So this is what we're using until then. And I'm using the color Twill. And so I'm going to grab the, our tapered blusher brush I'm just going to put some of these things away. Got one. It, they're perfect. They're perfect for this. And so you just hardly need any. It's quite pigmented. Just I use like a couple dabs, but then I like to swirl it off in the cap because you can see it gets off the excess. We just want a very light hand. Now, just starting from the top of your ear, aiming to the corner of your mouth, just start doing like a light line. Line, line strokes. And when you see a line, turn your brush and, and then blend it. You see, it just gives you, now do the other side, two taps, swirl it. And if you get, if it gets too much or there's a little bit of a line, you can take a clear brush, an empty brush with nothing on it, and take some of it off by swirling over it, as well as when we go in with our setting powder, that will diffuse that. So no worries. Now I'm gonna take some more and put it on my forehead. And I like to stipple it on first, get it in place.
then blend it. My, my hair, I have a learning curve. It's kind of... Oh, I need to... I'm practicing... Well, I'm learning, trying to figure out different ways of styling it with different curling irons. So this was one that has no clamp. So that's why I touched my forehead. But I also i am trying products. And I'm not a product girl. My hair tends to right away go heavy and look dirty. And so just, you know, getting used to which, which one's going to work with my hair. So I might have some goof, goofy hair days. And I like to just, so I'm going under the jaw, right along the edge of the jaw. And I'm just going to swirl it and then bring it down. And so what that's going to do is create a bit of a shadow. But hopefully just I'm grabbing a little bit of where the overhang <laughs> just to make it look a little slimmer. Now I like to go down each side of my nose. I might get a little bit more, tap it off. Hey, is the sun gonna peek out today? And under the lip. There we go. Done. Now on to blush. I am using one called Sweet. It's a really soft muted pink. Very soft muted pink. And a brush. Same thing. Tapered blush or brush. Go in, tap some off. And then right on that cheekbone, you're going to stipple. Again, we're, because as we age, everything droops down, we are going to put that there rather than on our cheek post, where this fleshy part, which, you know, drops when we stop smiling. And we're going to put it up on the cheekbone and it's going to, right hugging our bronzer and then blend it in. And then it stays and it's where we're creating uplift. Just going to blend that in. And blend it. Oh, I forgot too. Now I wanted to, I totally forgot about my concealer, didn't I? All right, concealer, here we come. I'm grabbing lace and I use very little. The doe foot would put way too much on for me, which would just tend to look really brighter and cakier and so you said rolling up my sleeves this is, means business <laughs> this is I've never worn concealer in my whole life and now um, especially since this eye thing I have more redness and so until that goes away so I'm grabbing with the doe foot I'm just grabbing a little bit take some off and then on the inside of the eye I'm going to draw a line and just bring it in and dot up. Then with the, my finger, and I move those out of the way because I tend to get my finger. With my finger, the warmth of my finger is going to warm it up. And I'm going to just press it. Because if I swipe it, it's going to go into the creases. And I'm trying to keep it, press them shut is what I'm trying to do. So pressing down and out. Now with wrinkles, or wrinkled, and I do have this these cheap, you know, little drugstore brand buds. I, I go in and as you can see, if I pull it apart, see if I can not get in the sun, some of it's gone into some little lines. I like to go in and just dab that out. Now I'm going to go back in and press it going towards the outside. And then I'm going to take my blending bud and just bounce it. Again, it's damp. And I'm just trying to smooth it.
Does that look a little better? You can see it's lighter. And now I'll do the other side. Again, just taking, I'm just taking a little bit from this little pod on this dope of applicator. You can always go back for more. So I'm going to swipe it in and dot. And again, this, this warmth of my finger, I don't think, think I have as much on this side as I did on the other side. It's going to take a little bit more right there. Now, I'm going to press it in. I like to go a little bit on the bridge of my nose as well. That's where your discoloration is usually, is right in here. And so then by the time we press it to the outside, which is where our smile lines are, we will have less product there. It also um, helps to clean up if you had a little, you know, outer line here it's going to make a crisper eye because you can see it's making our eyes go up when we did our eyeliner and that V in the corner it's helping create a little bit of a cat eye which is making our eyes look not drooping down but up I'm just going to go get some excess there and then I'm going to grab my bud and, and the reason why you want to use a damp bud is it's going to do the work for you of helping spread and pat that even. And if it was dry, it would just absorb everything. Hello, Shelly. Welcome. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Marlene. Aw, thank you. My sister. <laughs> I am so blessed to have a one brother that's alive. Uh, we lost one brother, but my sisters and my brother, we are very close. And we live so far apart. <laughs> my sister in Africa even watches my tutorials <laughs> because I've included that too. It's because of her. She's not on, on social media. I started uploading my tutorials onto YouTube. And so I went and got the, uh, it's easy to remember, I went and got a domain name, LV Look YouTube. So you can always find me. There we go. Now I can grab my, um, just gonna grab my kabuki brush. There we go. Now, on to brows. So again, I'm going to use, I, I'm really liking the palette, which it's kind of, it'll be back, it'll be back. So we do have something else back, back on our core line that I'm going to be showing, using you today. And that is our lip butters. Okay, putting this away. There we go. All right, brow palette. I always, um, when I, I had light, lighter brows, and then um, when I had them ombre, she did a darker color. So I'm sticking with the medium, and then I go in with light in the inside, which I'm trying to make it look a little more natural even though this is fading. It didn't really change, lighten up. It stayed dark. You know, the sun makes it a little harder to see. <laughs> it shows the dust on my mirror. <laughs> it's powder, it's face powder, right? So I did get a puzzle, set it all up on my, on my island, which is my table, which is my cooking space, started it, and then I realized, you know what, when the furnace guy comes, it could be in the way, and with my business now online, you know, it's like I don't even have time to do a puzzle. So I packaged it all up today. 
I almost had all of the outer edges, so I think I'll give it to a friend who's really into puzzles. Which is okay. Last winter, I did some because I, I was doing my cookbook. That was my project last winter. Um, I was scanning photos. I was doing puzzles. But this year... Now I'm going to grab a spoon. This year, it's it's my business. This learn it's a big learning curve trying to figure out Facebook. Hello, gorgeous. Welcome, welcome. Who's the show host? The comedian at night. I can't think of his name in New York. I have to catch myself because uh, he goes, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> That's what I always want to say. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I record it and then I watch certain ones if he's got his, some, some of his, he makes me laugh. We all need to laugh. Puts bubbles in your blood. Did you know that? Jimmy Fallon, thank you. I kept saying Jerry Seinfeld. I was like, no, it's not Jerry. It's not Jerry. And then I couldn't get Jerry out of my brain. It's Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you, Shelly. Jim. Oh, Marlene. Yes, thank you. <laughs> See, you girls know. Uh -huh. So I'm just framing my brows. Thank you so much. Yesterday was a, my chronic, I live with chronic fatigue. And yesterday it was bad. So I didn't even, I was in my PJs all day. It's like, what can you do? You just, I just have to go with it. I can't help it. Because I don't want to crash. But I was frustrated because I have this huge to-do list. And I just have to ignore it. I did do two things. I think I got my car insurance. And I posted, that was it, on my website. All right, now we can go into setting powder. Oh, highlighter. Let's do highlighter. I'm using these, our Alamode Pearly. And it's a really pretty peachy champagne color. And so this is going to add a little bit of shimmer to the top of our cheekbones. I call it the sun-kissed look. And down, I do it down the bridge of my nose. It just sort of makes your skin look alive and healthy when it's not too flat. So we sort of, everything is quite mattified, but that will just add some. And a little bit on the Cupid's bow, which tends to lift. Some days I, I just look a little more tired today, don't I? I feel like I do. All right, now we can set. Setting is so important. And this you, you really do need both setting powder and setting spray because the setting, the setting powder is what's going to stop your oils, your body oils from breaking down. And so throughout the day, you can just touch up your face makeup with this again. Um, and I'm grabbing the powder concealer brush and it traps them. And I like to stipple it on first. Just, it, and it also, sets your makeup in the sense that it's going to keep it also from it has diffusers in it it helps to blend it and I am getting right down there trying to get every last goodness this I bought this one would probably be June I'm thinking trying to think how long has it been I don't think I did a second one. I think this is my original one. So I'm finding the makeup really lasts. So initially it is a bit of a investment when you're setting up and getting everything. And especially with me, because I decided to do it as a business, I was buying everything. And you wouldn't need all of the diff all of the shades, although you may want all the shades, go for it. I wanted them all. <laughs> 
So, all right, now I want it set under my eyes. That's really important. So I'm just gonna grab, I think I set a brush, any brush. Um, gotta get some setting powder here. I have to set the concealer because, oh, you know what I should try? I should try this again. I set it last time first with liquid. So let's do that. This is the setting spray. And I grabbed some on my finger and I just dabbed it on. I probably should have said it before because it's... my little movements. And I'm just gonna tap it till it's dry. And now I'm gonna go in with powder. You don't want very much. And just press it on. So it's taken away the shine too, under that eye area. Now I'll do this side. Then go in with my little brush and just press it on setting powder, which I'm trying to get some. There we go. Okay. Oops. And I made a mess somehow. Now let's do. Um, let's bring back our, to our eye palette. Let's bring a little bit of that color underneath our eye. So I'm going to grab, you, you could grab any little brush. It could be, could be the cream shadow brush. I'm going to grab my liner shader brush again if I can find it. There we go. Just for the little liner part. And I'm going to go in with the um, Astute, our transition color. And I'm just going to grab some on there. And pull that across. Do that on both sides. And now I'm going in with the darker color, Earthly. And I'm going to stick to mostly just the outs, outer edge. Outer half, I guess. Third. Go up. And I'm just sort of connecting it to our V. And then you can take the brush side and just soften it. There we go. Now, let's do lashes. So the twist, oops, the twisted mascara is my favorite. Really, it is. And if you're new here, it has two wands. It has the skinny one which is so good for getting into close to the tight areas, but it's getting every single lash. So it is going to be separating and elongating. And then it has the longer, uh, the bigger wand, which is going to thicken and, what's the word? Can't think of the word. Don't think I wrote it down. Volumize. There you go. Thicken and volumize it a little bit. So I'm going to start with the small one. And I'm going to identify the lashes. Make it messier. Get my hair out of the way. And going close to the base. Do you know, I feel like I'm forgetting something. What I like is how you can get so close to your nose so you can get those little lashes that always get overlooked.
and I forgot to warm it up. It's cool on this wall. I could tell the difference. So if you're, I gave this tip to separate, separates. Yeah, it does actually, it has like a comb, so it does help separate. But I noticed that my lash is, it's right against a cold outer wall and it's a little thicker. And I find that if you sit on your eye mascara while you're doing your makeup, then when you go to do it, it's warmed up and then it, it flows more beautifully. And I just noticed that makes such a difference, but I forgot to do that today. So it's a bit cool. And so it's a little harder. So I'm gonna just grab a, maybe I'll grab a comb. I need it to warm it up. You can also put your tube in a glass of warm water, but I mean, mine's a brand new tube and it, it's just got cold against this wall. And it is, it's like a two-sided wand. You can see one side is flatter and then the other side is wider. And just the way it's designed, that if you can roll it, it also helps separate, but volumize. Just gives you thicker looking lashes. And I, my lashes are getting better. When I had my eye thing, I had to stop using my serum. I stopped using everything for on my eyes because they were just watering nonstop. There we go. It's beautiful mascara and I'm not allergic to it at all. This is the first one I've not, have no issues with. I forgot, I was gonna put my, I knew I was forgetting something. I like to put my setting spray on before I do my mascara because then you're re-wetting your mascara and then I accidentally will touch, it'll touch my eyes and I'll get black. I knew I was forgetting something. So are you girls doing your makeup with me? <clears throat> Did you go grab it? And who's doing it with me? Who's putting on their makeup with me? Or just watching? If you, I, I hope you're inspired to try these. These products or these techniques. And if you show me some love, I would appreciate it so much with some um, like and follow and share. I do appreciate it so much. Now I'm going in with the bigger one. And then I love the little one for your lower lashes. Now when I had lash extensions, I didn't wear mascara at all then on my lower lashes. Ah. Uh, Enjoying your tea. I wish I had mine too. Hello, Kuv. Welcome. Where are you from? Kuv X W B. Never. How do you say that? How do you say that? The tongue twister for my Canadian tongue. Okay, going in with a small wand for the lower lashes. I saved. I didn't even have my coffee today. So I was gifted with this Nespresso. Hello, gorgeous. Welcome, Shelly. And now I am dairy free, but not, not now. <laughs> oh, mom, it just, it means just me. Oh, I love that. Oh, I like that. Thank you for telling me. So I have this Nespresso frother and it, it is so wonderful. I make my coffee and then I've, it heats the milk and froths it. So you add it, then, and I throw in vanilla. Good vanilla. Don't get the cheap extracts, get the good vanilla. And then, um, just got a little 
mark I want to grab. And then I put the cream in and then I put the frost on top and I sprinkle it with cinnamon. And it's, so I'm getting dairy, which I shouldn't be having, but I have one and I am enjoying it so much. So I treat myself either in the morning or in the afternoon, depending. And I love that, absolutely love it. Very, very, very special. From very, very, very special people. Okay. And I don't mean like the Special Olympics. <laughs> See, it makes, it makes a difference that this mascara is cold. So next time, I have to remember, or I have to make a note to myself. Sit on it. It really works, warming it up. All right, we are. Let's do our setting spray. And then I'll do my lips. Oh, no, let's do it. So I'm going to give you a tip. So the lip butters are on our core line. So they were introduced in December as a one of our bundles just for a very, very short time. They just teased us and I bought all six and I've been dying to use them with you girls. One, two, three, four, five. Why am I missing one? Okay, who can I blame? <laughs> I took it. I can't believe this. Okay, there's there's six. Okay, I have to look for it later. I have no idea. Where where can this go? So I was gonna show you each of them. Yes, it works. Sit on it while, while you're doing your makeup and then when you go to put it on, it's gorgeous. It's just smooth and doesn't clump on you. And so these are so beautiful. These are, they have shea butter. Could be, oh, it is in my purse. Thank you, I did take it out with me the other day. Thank you, thank you. Never even thought of that. Who knows when I'd have found it? Because um, you know what the bottom of a purse is like. And so these have shea butter, vitamin E, all um, coconut oil, um, jojoba, different oils. So they are really going to nourish your lips. But they have, they have, they're tinted, they have color in them. So they're not like a lipstick where they're going to stay on. But if you want them to stay on, I'm going to, I exfoliated. We have a beautiful exfoliator earlier when I was in the bathroom. So my lips have been exfoliated from your dry skin. Now take your eye primer and put a little bit on your lips. We don't need very much. dry as much as I can. Now you can put on your, I could, it would be better if it dries a little bit more. Now I am going in with uh, Beach Bonfire. We need to add some color to this. And they're just creamy, they feel so good. You can line them if you want to. Put lip liner. Now, if you want that color to stay on, let's add some setting powder. And then when we spray, it will re-add moisture. So I'm going to grab just any brush. And don't, don't, Swipe it. Just want to make sure. It mattifies it, and that's going to set that as well. Now, you can put gloss on if you want, or I'm like, um, So that, I wonder if that first layer will stay on, but that's just what you can do. And now I'm gonna add my setting spray. Go down my neck. Then you don't get makeup on your clothes. 
and make sure I don't. There we go. Now, I guess I could, I liked, I wanted a little bit of deeper color. And that's it, floof my hair and my top, I don't, I think it's sold out. I'll show you, but I think it's sold out on the website. I had to start wearing a towel on my lap when I do my makeup too, because sometimes I spill. All right, here we go. This top is so cute. It's really perfect to wear with leggings because it's longer, it's slim. It's got the like, the, what do they call that, raglan sleeves? And, which I often do, and you can, with their, their beautiful boho bralettes, I love showing off the um, little, the, the little strap, it's really cute. And that's it. There is our soft romantic neutral everyday look. Now, what do you think? Was that easy? You can do this, girls. Dolman, thank you. Those are Dolman sleeves. I haven't heard that in a long time. That's what it is. Not bad man wings. Not, not bad man wings. Uh, thank you, girls. You have a wonderful day. I'm so glad you joined me. I hope you enjoyed this. And we will again see you soon. Take care. Be safe. Bye for now.